This is a view of the Lees at South Shields. There are three Lees from north to south, Trow, Frenchman's and Marsden. They are all owned by the National Trust and stretch from Trow Quarry in the north to Marsden in the south. This video shows aerial views of the Lees taken by rod using this radio controlled quadcopter fitted with a GoPro 3 camera uh, fitted onto a FiuTech gimbal. It is powered by four brushless motors and uses two 3 ampere hour 6 cell lithium polymer batteries in parallel. It weighs about 8 pounds. The quadcopter is flown using first person view. The pilot flies using goggles which receive pictures from another onboard camera. Here is the flying quadcopter pictured from a ground based camera. It is very manoeuvrable and is additionally fitted with a GPS receiver. It can be instructed to return to the pilot by operating a switch on the transmitter. You can clearly see the gimbals steadying the GoPro camera as Rod waves goodbye. Now for an aerial view of the Lees and coastline. The cliff path here has an excellent surface consisting of compacted dolomite. The quadcopter is now turning into Manhaven Bay which was once used by local boat fishermen who kept their gear in a cave in the cliff face. Heading north now, you can see the south pier of the Tyne Harbour straight ahead. And there is Frenchman's Bay, almost inaccessible now. There was once a wooden staircase leading down to this remote beach. You can see the crumbling nature of these cliffs. There was once a coast guard station on this headland, long since fallen into the sea as the cliffs eroded. And there jutting out are the remains of Target Rock another victim of the erosion. If you look carefully, you can see the recently built Norwegian granite revetments, built to protect the shoreline behind them, which was used to dump industrial and domestic waste in the 1960s. On the left is the former Trow Quarry, limestone from which was used to build the South Pier, and ahead, Graham Sand, Trow Rocks and the Herd Sand, which South Tyneside Council have recently renamed. Below is an example of National Trust landscaping, planting gorse, broom and briar rose on this raised section. The plants are struggling though. The Coast Guard patrol, fairly often seen here to 
together with the RNLI, RAF rescue helicopters and the fire brigade. Rescues are not uncommon on these cliff tops. Here is another example of coastal erosion. This was once a long cave which collapsed about 40 years ago. Back over Frenchman's Bay again, and over Frenchman's Lee. The marquees are being erected for the Great North Run, which is to be held on the 7th of September. And just coming into view are the pilot and his spotter. We've come to the end of our aerial visit to the Lees.